Oh, baby, we do not do him. Let me uh, try to skip ahead. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hello, messengers. Welcome to One Message in a Bottle. Taru, my name is One. One to love, your spiritual influencer, advisor, your good sis. All right. A little bit of technical difficulties there. They was sliding into some territory. We don't visit. We don't visit there. We don't care how good the songs are. We don't do that. Mm -mm. Anywho, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you guys had an amazing weekend with your family, with your friends. Hope you did it up. You know, I know you made the best of it. And I know that you had a good time. Let me turn this down a bit. I don't even know this song. I'm trying to catch the vibes here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see what he's saying. I gave everybody a little soundtrack. Mm-hmm. You're looking for a way to probably channel that passion, Aries. Yep, so I'm pretty sure you made the best out of every situation this weekend to the best of your abilities, all right? Amen. So we are doing your Gemini New Moon spread, all right? Had that Gemini New Moon energy all over this weekend. And the residuals are still in the atmosphere, sliding into that Cancer Moon. All right. This is a three-card spread, all right? The first card is going to represent where I could use better communication, where you communicate better, Aries. The second card will represent how can I embrace my duality, the good and the bad. All right. Um, that yin and the yang, the light and the dark. Mm hmm Yes. And the third card represents how can I let my freak flag fly. Ooh. We'll see. We'll see. Do you need to let that thing swing or do you need to buckle your seatbelt? <laughs> we gonna see. Alright, so the first card we want for Aries. Aries, the Emperor Aries. Where could Aries better communicate? Alright, starting this at the 3 o'clock mark. Hey, don't forget, my DMs are open. If you'd like to book a reading, make sure that you uh, also subscribe here and everywhere else and like the video. Thank you so much, messengers. All right, so where could you communicate better? We have the Two of Swords, all right? So the Two of Swords is kind of like being stuck. It's also two, so there's a decision being made. I feel that you're trying to communicate um, just, just, just areas where you, getting your point across, maybe, how to get, how to get your point across so that you can get your way, because Aries loves to get their way, right? And, um, it's leaving you stuck you definitely don't like to be you know immovable you like to move you like to get things done you know what i mean you're pretty fast paced but whatever is going on behind this two of swords this energy here and you see it's a it's an old guy versus a young guy right a an an older process and a newer way of thinking, a newer way of being. And is this fruitful? Look at that seed in the middle. Oh, okay. Is there an opposing opinion that you have or that others have with you? And you're trying to figure out a better way to get your point across? Are some people stuck in their ways and, ref and, and refusing to even consider um, engaging or doing a new thing? And you're trying to figure out how to best communicate that 
All right, but knowing that a choice uh, definitely needs to be made. It's like seeing my way and, and everybody feels that their way is the right way. And that is causing the energy to be stuck and stagnant. But you're definitely um, wanting to come to a resolution here. But see, the younger guy, he doesn't even look like he, he, he don't even want smoke for real. He's like, I don't. I don't, I don't necessarily want to do all this with you. You know what I mean? I, I want to share with you, but it's like you're, 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 you're bucking and you're making it harder every time. It's like, it don't have to be like this. We're all in the same gang here. They're in the same seed here. We're family. You know what I mean? I don't want to fight you over, over this, this idea, this notion, this new way that, you know, And so it's like, how can you communicate so that your 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 vision is seen and take that where it resonates, apply it where the balm is needed. Business relationships, friendships, love, family, love, etc. Okay, somebody's not seeing the bigger picture, and you need to communicate HD. Okay, that's what I heard. All right, you need to communicate in HD. Take the how it resonates, Aries. Next card we're looking for, how can I embrace my duality? Like too many fell out there. All right, how can I embrace dualities? How can Aries embrace their dualities for a Gemini season? What is it that needs to be shown? All right, so... We have the Three of Cups, all right? The Three of Cups speaks of celebrations and collaborations here. All right. That's not going to focus. Okay, there a little bit. Duality with the Three of Cups. Taking opinions into consideration to probably where you it's like hear me out. Hear me out. All right, maybe you got too many people coming coming um at you at once and you and and you feel you know not not safe. I don't know. So you're kind of like really like, you know, Got your shield up a lot, you know. You're 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 blocking instead of you know standing open and vulnerable. I don't know. It's weird. Instead of thinking of all the ways that it won't work out, think 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 about how it can work out. Or I don't know. If somebody's you have outside people telling you. Why, uh, you know, this, this shouldn't, this shouldn't work out. While needing to understand that this thing needs to be birthed. This card is always weird to me because it's like you got three people and they got the cups up there and you don't know if they're celebrating or trying to kill the baby child. I don't, that's, <laughs> that's like the weirdest card to me. You know what I mean? But if we're in, if we're in, in, embracing the duality, you know, three of cups is all about, you know, collaborations and, and maybe you feel like you need you know, um, some, some, some co-signage on whatever it is that you're trying to birth, whatever plan that you're trying to hatch, you know, and you're looking at these outside resources and, and they're not, you know, aligning with you. I don't know if you feel that you need, need them, but the flip side of the duality is realizing that you can do it yourself, you know, if three is collaborating then the opposite would be not and just, and just. Taking your taking your baby, taking your baby before you know they push that motherfucker out the nest and 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 go do what you're trying to do, Aries. Okay, because it looks like you're you're just getting all kind of pushed back, and you know then it's it's you know 
nobody wants to kind of see it your way. If that makes sense. It's, you know, you're getting a lot, a lot of pushback, a lot of pushback. And like I said, them girls, they, they smiling, but they got weapons in their hands. So you might need to go take your baby and go do your thing. All right. If you're doing the opposite, feeling like you need to have everybody's approval, everybody's vagina. Um, validation, everybody's co-sign to move forward with this project that you're trying to birth. And Spirit's saying, no, you, 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 you can do it. You have your ideas, you have new way of thinking, but you can do this thing. All right. Oh, yep. And that spirit confirming it. You're right on the money. You are right on the money. There is no fourth card. I have your third card. It already flipped over. There is no fourth card, but I will show you what's at the bottom of the deck. New beginning, and you're going to love this shit. All right, Aries. How can you let your freak flag fly this Gemini season? Told you. Take your baby and run and go and go do your thing and go collect this coin. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that going to focus? Focus. We want the harvest to focus. That's the... the come on. Come on, Peter. Paul. We ain't going to worry about it. You see it. You trying to bring it into focus. That's why I'm going to focus. You trying to. And you will. It will. As soon as you realize that you got to be prepared to birth this thing and to raise this thing, whether you got folks in your corner or not, Aries. Okay? Whether they trying to see it your way because you, you're, trying to do, you're trying to do a new thing here. Right? You're trying to do a new thing here, and they ain't, they ain't having it, but you got this seed. It's good seed. It's a good seed. Good ground, all right? You know this is good seed, and you're having, like, again, you got to take that baby, honey, and go run and, and get your coin. Nine of Pentacles here. Nine of Pentacles. You're going to reap the benefits of the harvest. You're going to birth a good thing. Investment. A good thing. If you realize that you are enough to do it, you are enough to make it happen. But your baby, your project, your idea, whatever it is, is vulnerable. Because again, they smile like, oh, coochie, coochie, coo, come here. But them hoes, they got three cups, honey. And they, they, mm. go get your baby. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Get your baby, protect your interests, okay? Definitely protect your interest there, Aries. But whatever it is that, you know, you're trying to toss around to other people and you're getting all that pushback, all that fight, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Who gave you the idea? The divine, right? Right? Who did, did they tell? Did the divine tell all these other people? <clears throat> no, the divine didn't tell all these other people. They don't have the vision, Aries. You have the vision. All right, you're frustrated because they're not saying things, you know, your way. You're getting all this push that divine didn't give them the vision, gave you the vision. All right, and you trying to parade this baby around. Don't nobody, you know, they ain't nobody, they trying to take your baby. Go get your baby. Go raise that kid, nourish it, do what you need to do. All right, and you're going to reap the harvest. You're going to get the fruits of your rewards. You're going to be rewarded for believing in your million dollar and your baby. I didn't want to go through the whole movie. It's too late. I already said half the movie. We know the homegirl, you know, got messed up. We don't want to send the energy out there. But anyway, you know what I'm, you know what I mean. You got you got a bag here. Go get your billion dollar baby there. There's no movie about that. Billion dollar baby. Go get your billion dollar baby and invest and raise that thing. Um, and you are definitely going to be reaping the rewards there with the nine of pentacles, Aries. All right. So there, there is no, you, where you start out with the confusion. The only confusion is you thinking that you need somebody else to make this shit happen. All right. If you can't, if you can't get nobody on the um on the boat, build it yourself. That's what Noah did. Was was that Noah? Was that make sure? Honey, it's been a while. Yeah, I think that was Noah. <laughs> yeah, build your boat. Build your boat. Okay. And um, you know, don't worry about it if this. You know, they they worried about. You know the rain. You know the rain is coming. You know the rain. You know the rain is coming. You know you're gonna be all right. You okay? Do you think, Aries? All right. Stop. Stop. 
beating the um, dead horse, trying to lead in the water. They ain't drinking. Don't worry about it. You already, you know it's good. You know the water's good. The well of water, good. You drink of me, you will never thirst. All right? You already know you will never thirst. Do you think? Okay. Amen. So, <laughs> like this video, Aries, and everybody else, like this video here on YouTube, also on Instagram. All right, make sure you subscribe, okay, here, because I love you guys. I love vibing with you. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Subscribe here and Instagram. And um, also, if you want to book a reading, um, leave me a DM or email me. You can also um, DM me on Twitter at One Message Tarot. Follow me there. Also, if you want to, uh, of course you do, you want to support me and you want to show me love, thank you for all the donations and all that. That information is in the bio. I'm a love donation, also aka the tip jar. You can do that by Cash App or by PayPal. Any amount, it's not mandatory, but I'm always thankful. You know what I mean? I'm thankful when you guys send me gifts and all that and send me love and treats. Like, I just, I love it. I'm so happy and more happy to promote your business. So, if you have like cards or, um, you know, tarot cards, candles, whatever, you know what I mean? I'll be happy to hype you up. Send me things. We love things. You know what I mean? And I barter my services for things. So, let me know. You know, let's just talk it out. All right, all right, all right, Aries, Aries, uh, yeah, you know, um, the spirits call and they say, come, come, come get your kid, okay, come, come get your baby, it's time for, it's time to transfer, gotta take them out of that environment, because they're not learning anything there, all right, so time to transfer them to a new school, all right, and, um, reap the benefits of that investment, all right, all right. Do you think? Be well. Bye.